what murdered these four girls? The apathy and the complacency of many Negroes who will sit down on their stools of do nothing and not engage in creative protest to get rid of this evil system. Hello, I'm LaShonda Scales, your commissioner for District 1 and president pro tem for the Jefferson County Commission. We're in our 200th anniversary, not only for Jefferson County, but the state of Alabama. I want to remind you about a significant terrorism attack that took place in the city of Birmingham that changed the nation. And of course, it made news around the world. I'm talking about the 16th Street Baptist Church bombing of four little girls and one girl that did survive and two little boys. They weren't in the bombing, however, they too were killed on the same day. So I have a saying, I say, speak your name. So today I'm going to say their names. Cynthia Morris Wesley, Addie Mae Collins, Denise McNair, Carol Robertson, Sarah Rudolph, the only survivor, the two little boys, Virgil Ware, Johnny Robinson. I speak their names because if it were not for what happened with them, we today in 2019 would probably be doing business as usual. And so because of that, I celebrate them, not only with what I say, but more importantly, the actions that I do. I also want you to hear from former Vice President Joe Biden, who also talked about what race relations mean today and how significant that the event that took place 56 years ago changed our nation. Take a look. There are moments that are so stark. They divide all that came before from all that comes after. They stop the clocks. They rip away the trivial from the essential. They force us to confront difficult truths about our institutions, about our society, about ourselves. There was an observance of 56 years ago when this took place. And I want you to take a look of the minister for that day. Her name is Reverend Dr. Ruth Segrist. She's an Air Force chaplain. She talked about the love that forgives. Take a look. Stone in the road we trod, bitter the chastening rod, felt in days when hope unborn had died, yet with the steady beat. I like to always talk about Sarah Rudolph. She's still alive to tell the story. And I want you to be reaching out to her. More importantly, we need to support her. We needed our civil rights. And, you know, when you live in Birmingham, Alabama, you don't want to be treated like they treated us. I forgive them for what they did because, you know, it wouldn't bring my sister and my friend back. And it wouldn't bring my sight back by hating. So, I feel that we just got to love each other in spite of what people do to us. So if you'll indulge me for just a moment, there's one little girl of the four little girls that I want to place an emphasis on because of my direct connection with her. My mother's name is Johnny Mae Wesley. Her sister's name is Eunice Morris Davis. She is the sister of Cynthia Morris Wesley. And let me tell you, when I think about all of the families, including Virgil Ware's family, including Johnny Robinson's family, that should provoke us all to action. And that's what really this is all about. I keep telling you that you and I, working together, we will be the change that we both want to see. Again, I want you to always like our Facebook page at LaShonda Scales, she works share our information and we do now have a youtube channel which is lashonda scales official you gotta go and like that okay so just remember lashonda scales she works facebook lashonda scales official youtube and as always i thank you for tuning in we're going to be the change we both want to see thank you